Hi, it's Michael Valley Tutti, and I hope you had a really good holiday. Now, it's December 26th, and up here in Canada, it's Boxing Day. Now, Boxing Day for us Canadians, I'm speaking to all my American friends out there, it's kind of like your Black Friday. We kind of inherited that uh, that holiday from the British, and we were a British colony, and it's always the day after Christmas, and uh, everything is on sale at the retail level. But we're doing the same thing now. We have a site-wide sale. Go to gemsonvogue.com and see the great, great prices that we have. But instead of just showing you product, I just want to give you some product knowledge. And that's what I'll be doing for the next week. So today, I'm going to talk about briefly the Cento Cut. This is something that I personally developed. And I'll tell you why I developed it. It basically, Cento is Italian for 100. And the Cento Cut has 100 facets. But more importantly, it has a lot of those facets on the pavilion. Let me explain to you how a gemstone works. All gemstones have what we call refractive index simply means light goes in it bends a bit and it can disperse and it changes direction and it slows down now what happens is the diamond does that to an extreme level so it's really kind of relatively easy to facet a diamond because we know where the light is going to hit and because it bends so much we're able to redirect it back up to the viewer because if you don't do that light will go through a stone and it won't appear to sparkle anymore it'll appear dead Quartz has a very low refractive index, so it doesn't really bend like that much. So it's easy for it to escape once it enters a stone. So most quartz stones in an oval or cushion cut, for example, have only 40 facets. I invented a, a faceting system that uses over 100. And what I do is at the pavilion of the stone, that's the underbelly of the stone, I bulge it out. So instead of it being sharp like a diamond, I make it bulge out a little bit more. Then what I do is I add up to 70 facets on the bottom and about 30 facets on top. What that does, folks, is when the light enters a stone, and remember, it doesn't bend that much, it has a high probability of hitting a facet. A facet is basically like a plane of reflection. Ever see a window? You know when you kind of turn, you can see through glass? But if you turn on the side, then you see a reflection, okay? That means that it, you're actually counteracting the refractive index. So the light is now bouncing back. So by doing that, adding all these extra facets and the bulge, what we call the bulge factor, making it a little bit fatter at the bottom, what I'm doing is I'm playing with light, understanding its optical properties, and trying to direct as much of it back up to you. So it appears to sparkle more. Now, why is it a benefit to you? Basically, the stone will appear brighter. Why doesn't everyone do that? Two reasons. Every time you make a facet, you're paying somebody to do it. You're cutting away material. Remember that bulge factor I told you about? You're adding more weight to the stone. All these things add cost. And, you know, some manufacturers don't want to do that because these costs have to be passed on to you. We do it because we have our own cutting facility. We buy our own rough. In the end, that's why we do what it is. So it's not that it's just a fancy name, you know, Cento Cut sounds all Italian and all that. It, it basically, there is an optical reason why I do it. It increases the stone's brilliance by counteracting the fact that the light would go in, bend a little bit, and keep on going. I don't want it to keep on going. I want it to come back up to you. And that's the story of the Cento Cut. On our website, you'll see Cento Cut mentioned many times. I've, I started in a cushion cut. And I've done it also in rounds and in ovals and in marquises. And again, it's a special way of faceting that is really going to give you a better experience. And I've done it in white quartz, mostly in quartzes I've done it. White quartz, I've done it in amethyst, I've done it in citrine, prazolite, etc. So go to our website, check out some of our Cento cuts, and hey, have a great holiday week.